okay, we have a virtual machine. It's talking to the outside world. It's time to actually put automation programming software on it. So I'm going to walk through this process with Rockwell software because, again, that's, that's what I use most of the time. But this process should be very, very similar for any other kind of programming software. And really, it's going to be almost identical to what you do right now to install your software with just a couple little quirks that I'll point out. The first one is how do I get my how do I get my installer into the VM? So if you have a CD or DVD, follow the follow the the tutorial on CDs and DVDs. For my version of Rockwell, I've actually got it on an external hard drive. And that's a USB 3 hard drive, which makes it nice and fast, but again, we're back in Windows XP here. Windows XP is not going to be able to utilize that speed. So I have that you know, that USB hard drive connected to the host and I'm gonna do what we call a shared folder to let the, the virtual machine access it. I come up to VM, and if I look at removable devices, this is that external hard drive that's connected on USB. And since it doesn't have a check mark here, I know it's connected to the host, so that's good. I'm gonna come over to Settings, and the Options tab has this handy-dandy shared folders section. So I'm going to say always enable this and going to add something, go through the nice little wizard. If I browse, I can find this is that hard drive right here. So I'll say OK. I don't really care what the name is. It's just going to be temporary. But well, for the sake of expanding on the point, let's just say I can call this my rev CD because that's or revs, revs hard drive because that's Rockwell terms for it. It's got revisions of their hardware, whatever, right? So next and enable it. I do not want it to be read only, so I'll leave that unchecked. Finish. So now I should have a a, a folder called Revs Hard Drive. I'm going to say OK, and if I open up Windows Explorer here, and I actually don't see it here. What did I? I must have missed something. Come back to settings. Options, shared folders is enabled. Ah, got to map this as a network drive in Windows Guests. I don't, I don't actually know how you get access to it if you don't check this box. So don't forget to do that like I did. So OK, and I might need to close that and reopen. There we go. OK, shared folders on VMware host. Here's my Revs hard drive. And so I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and go through the process and install software the way I normally would using that. But before I do, I want, to, I want to take a snapshot. And I know I haven't talked about snapshots a lot, so I'm just going to tell you how to do it, and I'm going to tell you more about it later. But before you make any big changes to your virtual machine, you always want to take a snapshot so that you can come back to that point if you ever have an issue. And... Best practice for taking a snapshot is first to turn off the virtual machine because otherwise the snapshot actually remembers whatever's in RAM as well, so it takes up more space on your hard drive. Okay, so I'm just going to click on this button here, take a snapshot of this virtual machine. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it pre-Rockwell because that's what it is. <clears throat> And another good thing to, to pay attention to here is I've already installed drivers for the different kinds of USB dongles that I think I'm going to use for serial and RS-485 and, and data highway. If you plan on installing other software packages that aren't, say, say I'm going to do Rockwell and I'm going to do Omron and I'm going to do GE, I think it's a good practice to keep those separate. And again, I'll talk about this more later, but to avoid installing those drivers three different times, I'm going to install them first and take this snapshot after I've installed those. You can also write whatever kind of description you want in here. Has serial USB drivers installed or whatever makes sense for your case. And I'll hit enter and it'll take the snapshot. Oh, well, not from there. I'll click on the button. And that's really pretty instantaneous. It's done. So 
I'm going to boot it back up and I'm going to do all my installs. So now that I've got this Rev's hard drive mapped inside the shared folders, I can open this up just like as if it were directly on this virtual machine. So I can double click on Rev's, and that'll open up here, and I can install my RS logics and everything else right here. Don't forget, after you install the products you want to install, set your preferred settings, whether it be uh, colors or hotkeys or whatever, and then take a snapshot. And again, we take a snapshot by going up here and clicking plus. So get on it, get your software installed, and we'll talk about some licensing and some other things in a bit here.